Welcome, welcome to another monthly reset video. When I do any type of reset, I'm first and foremost focusing on my vibrations and my positive energy and how I feel in general about the past month, what amazing things happened in the past month and what amazing things I'm planning for the next month. And the most important part of setting myself up for success for the next month is to reflect in, reflecting on the month that's passed and pinpointing the most beautiful, wonderful, happy and positive things to keep going on that high vibration mode and to keep manifesting high vibrations and beautiful, wonderful things in my life. And I always love to start with what I accomplished last month. And for me, it was definitely the placements. I did have a goal to have at least two placements per month, every single month. And last month I had three placements that I'm extremely happy for. And there are also other people that I read in their interviews. So I'm pretty confident that I am going to have at least two placements in March as well. And this is very empowering for me. This is what I love to do. This is the job that I love. I love to be a headhunter. I love to look for people. I love to place people for the jobs that they love doing. So this is something that's very important to me. Speaking of the self-care for last month, I can definitely say that I took conscious rest from Friday to Sunday and that pretty much included not to do any work, enjoy and just do what feels right for me, to work on my energy, to work on my high vibration, to enjoy my life and enjoy myself. I did have to run a couple of errands. We had to go and try to get the winter shoes for my boyfriend that we miserably failed because they all sold out and we also went to do some groceries but that's about it everything else was just enjoying myself reading bo books playing video games um, reading my personal development book as well something that really helps my soul and raises my vibration another self-care thing that i did last month is seeing my mom more often because my mom is moving to mexico soon and i do want to spend more time with her and I do see how that it really positively impacts my energy, my mood when I spend time with my family. We do have shared values and shared things that we like. We both fo are focusing on personal development and we connect on all of those topics really well. And it's always a fun time and pleasure to meet with her. Then what challenged you? I believe that the thing that really challenged me is the fact that I got exposed to a variety of different methods to um, uplift yourself, to raise your vibration, to go about your life in a happy, balanced and positive way. And some of the things I rejected right away, considering them like a, almost like a lie or something that does not exist. So what actually challenged me is the fact that I should stay open to other people's opinions and other people's experiences as well and not discredit anyone's experience, anyone's opinion and just allow everything be because there are so many different ways for you to be happy and to live happy and everyone just does what seems right for them and specifically something that never sat with me quite well is chakras and i have no idea what chakras are and whenever i hear about chakras and your energy in chakras i'm like no 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 no, no. Well, that's not how you manifest that's not how you improve your life that's not how you upgrade your life it's nothing and i do want to challenge that and i do want to get to know more about that area maybe there is something in there maybe there is something about chakras that actually help you improve your life who knows key lessons and takeaways for last month for me for sure it is to work on self-love i came across this information from many different sources that if you want to upgrade your life you have to work on self-love and everything pretty much starts with self-love and i feel like i lack in that area a bit i am very critical of myself takeaway for me would be to focus on self-love to do more practices of self-love and to really think of whether it's coming from a self-love perspective or from avoidance and trying to escape my feelings or things like this so that would be something that I am planning to do next month 
and investigate that a little bit deeper. And another big takeaway for me personally was from the book Letting Go by David Hawkins. And he talks a lot about letting go and as a way to cope with your emotions and to upgrade your life and to live a higher quality life. And he talks a lot about different types of ways that we have we try to cope with our emotions and one of those ways is express your feelings that is considered to be the healthy way however he says that it is not healthy and he's the doctor in psychology so i believe he probably knows a lot about that he has a lot of experience working with the clients the most efficient ways to actually let him go the another word for it is to neutralize these emotions except instead of when we are expressing those emotions we give them more power and we make other people feel uncomfortable and under attack to the point where they have to deal with the emotions that we poured over them and when we are letting go of the emotions we're neutralizing them we're neutralizing their energy their vibration usually it is a low vibration so it's very positive for our mental state for our physical health to neutralize them ex instead of expressing them my notables of february the first thing is i always go into travel and last month we did our first car trip to trader joe's in america we went to bellingham it's right on the border it's 45 minutes from the border between us and canada and i enjoyed that trip a lot we went to barnes and noble and that's where i got the book uh, letting go the pathway to surrender and then we went to trader joe's and got a lot of yummy things that we don't simply don't have in Canada. One of them is the cookie butter, lots of frozen things, uh, frozen fried rice. Um, we got a couple of different types of uh, seafood. Um, we got they uh, Trader Joe's for some reason has a lot of stuff with truffle, like a truffle mushroom, and we got the truffle barbecue sauce, truffle soy sauce. We wanted to get a truffle hot sauce, but they sold out. They said it's seasonal, but we also got some pretzels covered in chocolate like we got like a few things and the prices they are cheaper than in canada so we'll definitely go back to that store another thing that we did last month is we went to van gogh um show and it was a very interesting experience so that wasn't just like your regular picture gallery the pictures were broadcasted onto the walls and floor and it felt like you are walking inside of the picture. I might insert a couple of clips if I can find them. It was such a great experience and we went there on Valentine's Day on February 14. Another category of the notables for me for the month of February is the books because books is something that makes me genuinely happy and I love, love, love reading. And the first thing, obviously, it is the Let and Go the Pathway to Surrender by David, by David Hawkins. I enjoy the hack out of this book i feel like everyone needs to read this book it's super helpful super empowering it really explains how to make your life easy balanced and in general just happier another notable from the month of february is stay awake by megan golden and this is a thriller i really really liked it and if you want to know what books i read in the month of february i will link this video down below and also above i talk about the stay awake there in the detail and my opinion about it this is one of 11 books that i read last month now as for the music and podcast we went to the concert we went to see thomas fred and i haven't been to a lot of concerts in my life and i'm a big fan of country music and thomas fred is a contemporary country singer and i love 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 him a lot and my boyfriend surprised me for the valentine's day with the tickets to his concert that was very very, very sweet and was such a great experience and as for the podcast i came across the podcast that is called the gold digger podcast this is when i was purchasing a couple of books on um, online and one of them was how are you really and this is the podcast of the author of this book and she explores what success means and how you can find more joy ease and peace in the pursuit of the goals i will leave the information about this podcast down below as well i to be honest with you i didn't have a chance to listen to her episodes but i've seen a lot of good episodes that i already saved and downloaded that i wanted to get to um, hopefully quite soon so this is something that's definitely on my list for March and then as for the movies and TV shows that I really enjoyed in February the first one is something I talked about before and this is the last of us this might be one of the best TV shows I've ever watched it's every each 
episode of this TV show is amazing. It's based on the video game that I haven't finished. I played just one chapter of that video game, but I remember saying that if they made it into the movie or a TV show, that would be amazing. And I was so right. I love this TV show so much. Every Sunday, me and my boyfriend, we prepare, we make dinner, and we sit down and we enjoy the heck out of this time together watching this TV show. And the second one that we actually really, really enjoyed in February is American Horror Story season 10. Don't remember how it's called, but it's this season is a little interesting. It is divided into two smaller seasons. One of them is about creatures that are sort of uh, vampires, and another one is about aliens, and both of them, they are not related to each other and they're both amazing. When we find a TV show or a movie that we both love and enjoy and cannot wait to watch together and to spend quality time with each other, this is priceless. And then as for the memorable food for the month of February, we went to JJ Beans twice. One time I went with my mom and we spent such a lovely time there. We got coffee and we got breakfast burrito with mushrooms and egg and like potatoes and stuff. And it was super good. I love JJ Bean. I love the environment there and I love their coffee. And we went back there with my boyfriend and we got um, just simple breakfast bagels. It was a sesame bagel and egg to tomato and cheese, egg tomato and cheese bagel. And then we also got filled coffee donut, filled with coffee cream, that was delicious. And another notable for this month was we made these beautiful pancakes with banana and maple syrup. I burnt most of them, but that's okay. We still ate them and still enjoyed them. After I expressed all the gratitude to myself, to my partner, to my family, to my life, I start the new month after that and then I go and see what are the things that I need to accomplish the next month. And for me, it's simple things. I honestly just want to focus on working out twice a week. I want to focus on reading before I go to sleep instead of using social media. I want to finish the personal development book. Um, that I started. I want to have two placements in March. A couple of other things that we have planned for March. We are having an event that is planned for March, for March 8th, that is International Women's Day. We are going to see the musical Anastasia. This is a Broadway musical and I am so, so, so excited about it. I've never watched a Broadway musical before and I'm very happy that this is the first one. And I love the story. I loved it as a kid. I love that the characters of this musical have a Slavic background and I'm just in general very, very excited to attend it. This is it. This is my reset for the month. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers.